April 15th is a very important date. April 15th, 1865, that's the day that Lincoln died after being shot the night before. April 15th, 1912, that's the day the Titanic sunk. April 15th, in some parts of the world, is tax day. And most importantly, April 15th, 2018. That's when the CSSP exam is going to be updating. So death, taxes, and test change. Three things that are very certain in life. So you've heard the word change and update a lot, but what does that actually mean? So to understand what it means, you have to understand what an exam outline is. So the test maker of the CSSP, in this case ISC Squared, who are our partners, they have something called an exam outline or exam objectives. And this outline is important because the questions derive from this outline. So what's happening is that on April 15, 2018, this exam outline is updating or changing. By some of the changes, we mean adding, subtracting, renaming, redistributing a few things from the, from the outline. But the whole point is, when the outline changes, the exam is going to update as well. IC Squared is updating their exam outline and the testable material on the exam to make sure that that material is relevant to the roles and responsibilities of a modern security practitioner. Now this update that IC Squared is doing to the content is a distinct update from the last one you heard about, which was about the exam format. So remember when the exam went from six hours to three, or from linear to cat? That was about the exam format. This update, the April 2018 one, is about exam content. And just to be clear, those who are gonna be taking the new exam, you will be taking a cat. So I just mentioned that this update involved adding some new content to the exam. Well, here are some of examples of the added new content. So the whole point is to make sure that CSSPs are up to date about the newest forms of access control or the newest threats about connected devices and things like that. For a full list of the other added topics, head to this webpage right here. We have a full list and actually a sample lesson about ABAC. Not only is there new content, but something that else is new is the do uh, updated domain weights. So what that means is that there's eight domains on the CSSP exam, and they will actually tell you what percent of questions comes from each domain. So here is the list with the updated domain weights, and this column right here has the percent change from the old exam outline to this new exam outline. And just a few things that you should be realizing and, and thinking about here. So you'll probably notice that domains 3 and 4 went up slightly, and that's significant because domains 3 and 4, security, architecture, and engineering, and um, network communication security, those are the, both the, the two of the most technical domains. You'll also notice that domain 7 went down 3%, and domain 1 went down slightly. These are two of the most least technical domains. So what does this mean? What is this trying to signal to us? Well, to be totally honest, on a CAT test, where you only have a minimum of, of, of 100 questions, I wouldn't worry too much about the exam weight distribution, because test takers aren't going to feel this slight increase and this slight decrease in the question uh, distribution as much as you would on a longer test. So at the end of the day, just because the, 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 if you're going to see a few more technical questions, I wouldn't abandon that great advice that you've heard to think like a manager. So at the end of the day, the best advice I could give you is to expect technical questions, but also in the next question, expect a more high-level managerial question. So again, the exam has remained a technical exam with a managerial twist. And here's a question that probably everybody is wondering. How does this affect me? What does this mean for me? And the follow-up question that you're probably asking is, I've been studying for the old exam from the old exam outline. Is that good enough to go take the new exam and pass that? The answer is, unfortunately, no. You have to understand the new content. Now, what I will say is everything that you've done, all the studying, all the hard work, all of the things that you've seen are still going to be relevant and they're still going to be helpful. The more you know, the more you know, and that's great. But you have to add, you have to figure out what the new content, content is and add that to your knowledge base. All right? So again, don't think that you can get away with studying from old resources that are in tune with the old exam outline and go taking the new exam and passing it. 
Hopefully I've convinced you that if you want to pass a new exam, you have to study the new stuff. So what should you do next? Well, the first thing that you don't want to do is actually panic when you realize that all the resources that you've been using to study from are not up to date with the current exam outline. So what should you do? You should learn more. Get to know the exam outline. So I put the CyberVista webpage back up because we have a lot more detail about the new testable topics and a lot more questions and answers that you're probably having. The other thing that I recommend is that you enroll in a CyberVista course. We worried about these changes on behalf of our students. Our content is updated. We've added videos and practice questions, content to live online sessions, and many other tools to help you learn the new content and pass a new exam. We'll see you in class.